Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome to our first Back to Basics training. Um, if you have not already, after this, I would make sure that you download and print off the Back to Basics training booklet that I'm showing you guys right now. This um, will be helpful and it will be your guiding light as <laughs> you, um, I should probably turn my video on. Hi. Okay. It'll be just um, a great guide for you as you start to implement this into your teams and start to duplicate this. Um, if you can see mine up here, I have notes all over it. And this is what we got when we were in Prague. And so um, it definitely was real helpful to just have all of that um, in one place and organized. You can have the printers um, spiral bind it. Um, and that's just real helpful. It makes it look nicer and keeps it nice. So just a few things before um, I actually start this right now. Um, thanks of you. Thanks to those of you who are on live. And um, I know this is new and we haven't really done a training like this. So I really appreciate those of you who are here right now. Um, okay, so I really want to stress and um, just tell you guys that, you know, the next four weeks that we're not gonna be going through the entire um, Back to Basics book. We're gonna go through parts of it. It's pretty extensive. And I think if you have it, you'll get to see the different notes and stuff that are in it. Um, and this, you know, this is not a program. This is truly um, going back to the simple parts of our business and what, um, what we need to be doing daily. Um, and the reason why I am just really adopting this specific way and this specific, um, uh, you know, why we're, why I'm going back to basics is just because what I have been doing has not been sustaining and it hasn't been duplicatable. And I am moving into a new season in my business where I need everything to be duplicatable and you guys need everything to be duplicatable. So those are definitely the keys within, um, this whole program is that this is duplicatable. It's tested, um, Elise Shadaviv, if you guys have not watched my live that I, or my Zoom video that I put in a couple days ago into our business page, go back and watch that after this. But um, I just talk about my training that I just um, got home from in Prague. Anyways, Elise talked so much about um, how she, you know, she has, she has tried so many different ways of building this business and she has taken so many notes. She's spent hundreds of thousands of dollars doing market research and this is what has worked. This system has worked. And so what she has been stressing to us and as I've been starting to implement this over the past couple months, I'm seeing it to be true. Do not tweak what she does. Do not tweak what I'm telling you to do. Do not tweak what is in the book. Um, do it her way. And and get to know all the scripts, get to know her, the way she talks things through. Um, it's really simple, you guys. Uh, I think a lot of us can attest to, you know, teaching classes that are super long and getting zero enrollments, you know, 
over and over and over, maybe even just one enrollment um, because there's eight people there and it's, you know, there's frustration around the enrollment. There's frustration around people just not showing up to classes. Well, it's because we haven't been doing things right. We haven't been um, sampling properly. We haven't been inviting properly. We haven't been giving value to what we're doing. And so this is going to bring it back to the very simple basics of our business and why it's absolutely important to follow these steps verbatim. So I ask that you guys, um, you know, if you're, if you're in that state of frustration in your business and, and I know a lot of you are, um, then adopt this. And I'm going to be walking through this with you guys, um, for this whole next year. So this is our first training. So bear with me as I am even getting my bearings in teaching it to you guys. Um, please ask questions, please box me. Um, I, I prefer boxes rather than um, Facebook messages because they get lost. So please box me. If you're not on Voxer, download Voxer. It's free and it's a wonderful app to just stay in touch and stay in the know of what's happening. Okay. So um, hold on one second. Hey, Gavin, you got to get the dog. Um, okay. So I want to ask you guys this, you know, who of you is super happy within your business with where it's at right now? Um, and what are, what are your pain points? I want you to think about that for a second. Write them down. Okay. Go ahead and write those down. And maybe it's, I've taught 10 classes and only two people have showed up. <laughs> maybe it's, I'm not making enough money. Maybe it's, I'm working two jobs, I'm tired. Like what are the pain points within your business? Because these are the things that we're gonna be going through and these are the things that we're gonna be nipping in the bud and coming up with solutions as to why they are there. A lot of these pain points are the consequence of us not doing the fundamentals. We're not, sampling, we're not inviting properly, and so we're not getting people to classes, we're not creating value for what we're teaching, we're not building the story behind all of it. So that's what we are going to be doing for the next four weeks is going through all of that and incorporating that. So um, I'm just looking through my notes. I have so many notes in here. So really, I just want you guys um, to just stay with me for the next four weeks as we go through this. And I want you to trust the process and do the work. Um, this is for your business. And at the end of the day, you're responsible for putting the, the action into it. I can sit here and tell you all day long, like this is how it should be. This is what you need to be doing. This is what you shouldn't be doing. Um, here's the perfect program, but if you don't put action into it, then you will never be successful. And that's just flat out like being the real raw, honest truth. So you need to be putting the energy and the time into, into building this business and putting the action in. And thankfully now we have this really beautiful, simple back to basics duplication model that we can start to, um, you know, put into our business and start, um, and start duplicating. So first we're going to go into, um, it's page six in your back to basics book. Um, and we're going to talk about effective sampling. Um, and to really start, I'm, I'm hoping that a lot of you guys have started to do, um, the daily mentor calls. Now the back to basics training follows the daily mentor calls. Exactly. So everything I'm going through. So this effective sampling, you'll see right here, it's call two, call three, call four. And this is what we're going to be going through. If you've listened to the calls, you're going to be ahead of the game, which is fantastic. And thank you for doing that. I know some of you have been going through um, and taking notes and whatnot. So this week, what we go through today will be your homework if you have not yet done it. So some of you are, again, like you've done the homework and so you have the things um, and others of you are going to have a little bit more extra homework this week. So trust the process and do this. So um, 
um, the beginning of your business will be filled with effective sampling, which is why you want to have a lot of people on your list. You need to have a list and this list is going to be, um, it's going to be something that you're updating constantly. So you're, um, and then you're going to rank it. And then we're going to come up with a plan on how to contact these people. So, um, First of all, I want you guys to create your names list. This is gonna be one of your greatest assets um, in your doTERRA business because this is where you're gonna be pulling people. And so when you're contacting and following up with new leads, you're gonna to go to that list first and that's where you're gonna start and you're gonna know where to start. So um, if you aren't sure, if you're having a hard time getting your list to 100, um, doTERRA has a memory jogger PDF and you can click that just Google um, memory jogger PDF and it will bring up this sheet and it will just give you all the different ideas of people you can reach out to or people that you need to be putting on your list um, and just keep it all in one place. I actually started with a notebook. I started with multiple notebooks and I had like different lists going and then what I ended up doing before I went on my trip to Prague because I didn't want to bring you know, three notebooks was I put it into a Google sheet, um, or an Excel sheet and I just organized it there. So from there you are going to, and remember, write down everybody's name. Like don't, don't think like, Oh, they're not going to be interested or, um, Oh, they're too scary. Oh, they would, you know, just write down anybody and everybody. Try and get that list to at least 100, if not 150. I think that's really solid. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna go through and you're gonna rank each name on your list. Are they a female? So these specific, these seven um, things that she has listed, these are the things that over the last 10 years, these are the, these are the top seven characteristics or um, yeah, characteristics that people who are the most successful in doTERRA have. They are female. They started with a time and a money purpose need. So maybe they had just lost their job or maybe they were sick of their full-time job and wanted to stay home with their family. Um, and a lot of people do have a deep rooted um, purpose in um or need to have purpose and meaning in what they're doing. And I definitely see this a lot in my younger, my more millennial age group. Um, they grow up with just this deep humanitarian um, desire to just fulfill and give back. And so that is, um, those are really important because those are, and I would say the most important one on here is a money need because this business, it takes time. It, it's not just a, quick, um, quick turnaround. It takes time building the foundation as a lot of you guys know. And so when there's a money need, usually there's pressure to do the hard things and to continue to work. So I think a money need is really, really key within this. It's not the only key, but I think it is really key. Um, ages of 30 to 55. Now, some of you watching this are probably thinking like, I'm younger than that, or I'm older than that. That's okay. Um, this is just an average, and this is just one of the things that is important. Um, people in our company, the women in our company are who are the most, you know, the top, you know, 5% of our company are between the ages of 30 and 55. Now there's always like that exception to the rule. There's that 21 year old who is a presidential diamond and she just is crushing it. So it doesn't necessarily mean that if that person isn't that specific age, that they're not going to be successful, but th we're, this is going to go into our ranking. So interested in natural things. Now um, this is key too. It doesn't necessarily mean that they have to, um, know all the things that are natural and do everything natural, but they just have to have like a, a concept that like, um, like Coke, like drinking Coke is unhealthy. If they understand that concept, then <laughs> they understand that, they, you know, they understand the difference between things being natural and not. So, um, I, I think that that is a, a label that could be a little overthought. So just they're, they're interested in natural things. Now, um, I think people, there's a lot in our, in our bubble, we know lots of people who are very into natural things, but there's a very large demographic of people out there who are new to doing things more natural. So don't be super strict on that. 
um, has business or sales experience, this is really key. Um, and I would say that this is like the low hanging fruit. If you do know somebody who has had business experience or sales experience, um, this is, this is awesome. I would go and I would talk with them. Um, especially if they are someone who might be switching jobs or might not be happy where they're at. These people, they know how to run a business. They know that it takes time. They're self um, motivated and they're willing to put the work in. Socially influential. Now, this doesn't just mean that they have like, you know, 50,000 followers on their social media. This means that people like to be around them. Um, and that is that that's really what um, that means. It's not necessarily like their status. It's, it's really that people enjoy being around them and you, you want to be around them. Um, that would be socially influential and they have a supportive spouse or partner. Um, this is important because this business, sometimes we have, we have lows, we have our low lows and we have our high highs and it's really wonderful if there is someone to walk alongside of you and encourage you and remind you of your dreams and remind you of your goals and remind you of why you started this business and those specific pain points. So this is going to be your list of seven and this is how you're going to rank your list of a hundred. So as you have listed your, um, let me pull this down. So as you've listed, as you've created your list, and I would create a column if you're creating a Google Doc, and next to it, I would, I would go through and rank them. Are they female? Yes. By the way, there are a lot of men in doTERRA who have been very successful and are very successful. So, and I know a handful of them. And the, go back to the majority of our company is female. And so that's why we are saying female because most people who are high ranking are female. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't reach out to a man. I just want to preference that. Um, so then on um, daily mentor call number four, create a plan for each name. Decide which form of contact would be the most effective um, and how you're going to reach out to them. So is it going to be in person? Is it going to be a phone call? Is it going to be a text message, an email, or social media? Now, if you talk to your neighbor in person all the time, and you are thinking like, I want to reach out to them. I want to sample them. You're not going to text them if you stand out front of your yard and have the long conversations with them. You're actually you're going to, you're going to go knock on their door and talk to them in person. So it needs to feel natural. And a lot of times what's natural, we hide behind with a text or an email because we're afraid of what the response is going to be. So I really encourage you guys to, um, to be true with yourself as to, you know, how you're going to reach out to these people. Um, Okay, and then um, decide whether you will approach first them first with the product or the business side of doTERRA. Okay, so I want to go back a little bit. When you're ranking them, if this person has all seven, they're going to be a seven. If they have three, they're going to be a three. You're going to start by reaching out to your lowest hanging fruit, which are going to be your sevens. They're going to be the ones that most likely are going to be interested in either the business approach or they may be interested in trying oils for the first time or any of doTERRA's products for the first time. So you would take the product approach. So as you have ranked them, now you're going to create a plan as to how you're going to reach out to them. Um, I have a lot of influencers that I've been reaching out to. These are people, friends I know who have big Instagram accounts on Instagram and Facebook. And I've been reaching out to them over direct message of Instagram and Facebook because that's how I've communicated with them. Um, I have a neighbor who I just reached out to and she and I actually, I never see her outside of her house, but she emails me and we've all, we've talked over email correspondent a lot. So I emailed her. So just because they're close to you doesn't mean that you can't, you know, you can't email them, but just, just look at those and what is the most effective way of contacting that person and really stay true to that. Um, okay. So moving on. 
So effectively contacting your list. So we're, we're still on this topic, but we're going to take, if you're going to take the product approach and you already know their ailment, this is what it's going to sound like. And I'm going to read this to you guys. And you guys, I need you to get to know these scripts really, really well. Um, the more you read them and the more you say them out loud, the, the better they're going to sound. And there's some really key parts in these scripts that um, Elise has tested over and over and over. And this is what has worked. So I've been thinking about you lately. I've fallen in love with essential oils and I've had some pretty amazing experiences with essential oils. And then you're going to talk about a simple but powerful experience that you have had with your oils. And for me, I would just say, um, my son, when he was two, was having a lot of digestive issues and someone sampled me with Digestin and it was the first thing that worked and really took away his stomach aches. And it was absolutely incredible because I was a stressed mom and trying to figure out what was going on with him. And the plug in your story, but quickly, it doesn't need to be the long version. It needs to be the short version, the short and powerful version. I thought about you and if you know their health challenge, so obviously if you know that they have a specific, so maybe they're dealing with digestion, then mention digestion. I thought about you um, and, uh, and your digestive issue. I would love to give you a free sample of Digestin um, for you to try. Essential oils are safer, cheaper, and they're more effective, and you will have a great experience like I have. Um, or you can say, I think you will have it. A great experience like I have. I'm going to be around tomorrow um, to drop this off. Or sorry, are you going to be around tomorrow for me to drop this off? And so I think another thing that we've been doing in our business is we've been giving people like a week, like, hey, I'll um, next week I'll drop a sample off. Like we need to do things, you know, like the day after. We need to be a little bit quicker in following up with people and doing things. So if they say yes, then you bring them their sample. Um, and then here's an example. If you are not sure what their ailment is, is I've been thinking about you lately and I've fallen in love with essential oils and I've had some pretty amazing experiences. And obviously you're going to talk about your experience. You guys, your testimonies are so experienced, so important. They're so powerful. This is what starts to build trust in the oils. Remember we are starting to we're, we want to create at least five touches before we invite somebody to a class, at least. So we're starting to build their trust and our stories start to build the trust in the oils. We sat in Prague, you guys, during this part, and she went around for an hour and we talked about the, the testimonies of how we've had oils, like the oils and what they've done for our family's lives and our friends and all the things. And we were all just bawling a mess because it is so powerful to listen to someone's testimony. And it right then it just, it automatically builds, you know, their like belief in what you're saying and they trust you and they want to try it. So it's a really important thing. And you know what, if you're really new and you don't really have a great testimony, um, listen to those of others or ask me and I'll tell you, ask your upline and they'll tell you incredible stories. Um, okay. So going back to the script, I know that all families deal with different kinds of ailments. I would love to give you a free sample of essential oil for you to try. They are safer, cheaper, and many times more effective than medicine. Get used to saying that you guys, they're safer, cheaper, and many times more effective than medicine because it's true. I think that you'll have a great experience like I have. You're going to be around tomorrow. Are you going to be around tomorrow for me to drop this off or give this to you? Okay. So that's for product approach. Now, for those of us building the business, all of us here, you're going to take the business. You might want to take the business approach if you're looking for builders. And if you haven't gone through find a builder training, I, after this, I really recommend that you guys start to go through that as well. It's really powerful. And it just kind of parallels this. So the business approach. I've been thinking about you lately. I wanted to let you know that I do the most amazing things. I sell essential oils. They're safer, cheaper, and more effective than other things that, have a that we have a tendency to use for our healthcare. Essential oils have no side effects or addictions. I have fallen in love with essential oils and have had some pretty amazing experiences with them. They have totally changed my family's health again implement your testimony. Sharing essential oils with others has changed my life financially. So many people are interested in using 
natural alternatives. I'm looking for someone that I can put my time, talents, and resources in that, that could also share the power of essential oils with others and thought about you. Are you familiar with essential oils? So you're starting to actually um, open their mind up to the financial part, like, oh, wait. And that's like another thing we sat around and talked about the financial blessing that doTERRA has been. And that was another, just like it rocked us. Um, you know, people who their dream was to, um, one of the girls real quick, I'll just tell you a quick story. She, she grew up and she had really bad teeth and she was really embarrassed of her teeth. And, um, she wasn't able to get braces until she was a lot older, but it was something that really hindered her from being able to public speak and being able to do plays as a kid. And it really was, it was traumatizing for her. And um, her, one of her kids, so she ended up getting braces and it was like life-changing for her confidence. And one of her kids, actually, she also was born with really, really, really bad teeth. And, you know, her goal was that all her kids would get to have braces. Well, her husband wasn't, he had got fired from his, or he, I think he got laid off from his job and he, I can't remember that exact part, but basically they had nothing. She had nothing. And her daughter was feeling the same way, just super insecure about her mouth. And so she went on and on to tell us that because of doTERRA, she was able to give her daughter braces and she's getting her braces off. And that was one of her whys when she first started was to be able to afford for her four kids to have braces. And just talking about the financial um, blessing that doTERRA has been. And so there's, and a lot of us have those, those stories. And so um, I think that that is something that, you know, definitely don't, it doesn't need to be shared right here, but the power of talking about how doTERRA has changed your life radically is so it is really, really powerful. Okay. So if you haven't talked to somebody for a long time and you're thinking about reaching out to them um, about the business, I really think it's important to start making those five touches before you actually do this. So I would say they're on social media um, or maybe they're, they work at a store locally or something. Start going in and start like building that relationship and kind of re like waking it up and talking to them. Hey, how are you? You've been on my, you've been on my mind or I've been thinking about you or um, I saw you driving and I was thinking about like past times or what start to like, just have that conversation. So it doesn't come out of the blue because I think a lot of people, it sounds really MLM me when people just come out of the blue and say, I've been thinking about you. I want to see if you want to do this business thing with me. Like that doesn't really, it's not very successful. So again, no one likes to feel used when someone gives you a call that they, if you haven't talked to them in a while. So make sure that you, you start that conversation maybe a little prior. Um, so let's see. Um, the script would go, it's been such a long time since we have talked and I have something that I specifically wanted to call you about, but first tell me what's going on in your family. So ask them about themselves, um, ask them about what's going on. And this kind of shifts the, like that, um, the focus on like what you're calling and it gives you some time to like, again, start to build that trust and getting to know people again. Um, so talk for as long as you feel as comfortable. Um, this could be a long conversation. This could be an hour conversation if you haven't talked to them in a long time. So just, just know that um, and make time for that. Um, after a while, the person you called will usually say, so because you have asked them, you know, what's going on in their life, they'll say, well, you know, <clears throat> so tell me why you were calling. And you can say, um, this script is kind of funny. <clears throat> Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry if you end up running out of time. Oh, I'm sorry. You had something that, blah, blah, blah. okay, here. So, so tell me what you're calling about. And then she just was saying like, don't worry if you end up running out of time and have to get off the phone. Cause if that does happen, um, even though I was just like, if you have an hour, talk to them. Um, if it does happen and they do have to get off because obviously you haven't talked to them forever and they're telling you the story about their kids and their mom and all the things that are happening. Um, it's just another opportunity for you to get back on the phone with them tomorrow and say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to, I'll call you tomorrow and we can talk further about what I was going to tell you. So, um, and then it gives you another reason. So that that's another thing that we need to be a little bit more, um, 
comfortable doing is like just slowing the process down and talking to people more often and making more touches before we actually start to talk to them about sampling or even trying the products. So um, some other tips are, you know, to get a hold of people is you can text them, hey, I have great news, call me. Um, I feel like this text wouldn't go to somebody who you haven't talked to in a long time because that would be kind of weird. Um, but if you have good friends around or you have people that you've seen recently, it's like, hey, I have something really exciting. Um, call me when you have a chance and you can go into it there. Email, I've been thinking about you lately and I have something really exciting to share with you. Um, when can we get together? Social media. I've been thinking about you lately and have something really exciting to share with you. Can we, when, when can we connect? So this actually has worked. I've used the social media one a lot. I only have used the email one. Like I told you for my neighbor who, um, she corresponds over email all the time. That's just her jam. So know, know how you're going to reach out to the people, each person on your list and just make a note next to it. Um, text, email, call, um, in person. And that will be really helpful because as we move along in this whole training, um, you're going to spend an hour, you know, at least an hour each day if possible, contacting and following up with people. And it's really nice to have your list. It makes it really, it makes it go really fast. Um, okay. So we're going to go into how to give an effective sample. So again, I want to just um, really make it clear that it's okay to take time in this whole preparation period. Um, and this is like where sampling, I, I know for me, it, like in switching over the way I've been doing stuff, sampling hasn't been... Um, it's taking longer. <laughs> so my fear with it was like, I'm like, I need to sample people before I can get them to classes. And so I'm like trying to rush the process, but don't rush the process. Cause that's just, again, going to be, um, it's not going to be as effective. And that's what we're going for is being effective in everything that we're doing. So, um, why do we give out samples? Um, we start to, we really start to build the trust in doTERRA. Um, and I'm just going to read you this little part right here. doTERRA is one of the fastest growing network marketing companies in the world with our focus on product. We let people experience the power of essential oils before they are ever asked to purchase. This is what sets us apart from other companies in our industry. Every mom should have an essential oil keychain so that she can access the oils wherever, whenever the need arises. So this is really the just such a simple reason doTERRA has been so successful is because people are having those experiences beforehand. And those of you who have been sampling just in your class, and that's people's first interaction, first experience with essential oils, um, you know, sometimes that does work. And I think it's gotten us this far, right? That's how I've, I've done it. I haven't sampled until like the past couple months. Like I really haven't been intentional about it. And I've oversampled. I've just given people bottles and that's not effective because then people aren't enrolling. So even though I'm being generous, it's, it's not, um, it's not, that's not duplicatable. I can't expect you guys to do that. So we need to, um, this is, it really is, um, that those experiences again, and I, they start to, they build the trust, they, the trust, they build the story. So when we were in Prague, and I shared this in my story, but um, my Zoom a couple of days ago that I posted, she, she did this with us. She, she brought us along. She made all these different touches. She was introducing us to this product that she was going to sell us at her house the third day that we were there. And the way she started doing that was she started building the story for these different vendors. She had been testing and watching and paying attention to all the people that come to their property for retreats, for trainings and whatnot. And she would, she would follow them and have people like kind of just take note of like, what are people buying when they come to Prague? What are they, what are they looking at? What are they picking up? What are they smelling? What are they, what are they eating? 
And she came up with basically 15 different items that were like the, on the top of the list. And so those are the 15 things that she started telling us in the bus from the airport to her property, which was a two hour drive. Um, and she started building the story. So she was like, she talked about like, you guys, like I have these really incredible vendors that I have become super good friends with and I support them. They're very poor. She started building the story about each one of them over the next three days. And so by the time we had an opportunity to purchase, you know, those specific items, we were like ready and so excited to support these people um, because we knew their story, like their testimony, right? We knew where they came from. We knew the poverty that they had been in. We knew the product that they had created and how amazing it was. And so we had, she, so she showed us in that example, how important it is to effectively sample. So, um, it's, it really is it. I, I, this is something that I have just missed the mark on in my business. And so I'm excited to finally be doing this properly and it makes sense, right? It totally makes sense. So sample prep, there are effective ways to sample and there are ways that just waste time and money. So the following method, follow the following method. Exactly. Do not tweak anything. If um, you can anticipate 80% attendance at your class, higher enrollments and more people signing up with LRP, you will also find builders quicker. So please stay within that. Try it, you know, give me three months. And I think that that's like what um, we need. We need to give this, you know, really three months of doing it properly and really prepping and doing the work. Okay. So some things to know about sampling. They're always free. and this again is so duplicatable. You buy the little drams and you guys don't have to fill them all the way up to the top. It could be just like 15 drops. It doesn't have to be, you know, it could be five drops if it's an expensive oil. Um, but it just needs to be just the little drams and a little sticker on the top. Sample one health challenge at a time. And if someone comes to you and says, I have rheumatoid arthritis and I um, have a stuffy nose. Start with the stuffy nose. Obviously, we know the rheumatoid arthritis is, it's gonna take a long time to heal. And we know that the oils will definitely affect that and help with healing. But it's start with a simple ailment because we want them to have a, rea a quick reaction. So choose a health need that, that's what, that you have acute symptoms. They're gonna see, they're gonna see the results quickly. Um, and then sample one oil at a time. So rather than sampling like 10 oils for their stuffy nose, oh, you can use breathe. You could probably use lavender. You could use all these different oils. Just start with breathe and give them 10 drops of breathe. Um, and then set proper expectations for their experience. And um, I'm going to do that. So what you're gonna to say to them is you're gonna say, essential oils are similar, and I want you guys to memorize this script too. Essential oils are similar to medication in this way. When you have an ailment and you go to the doctor and you re receive a prescription and you use it, it doesn't, and it doesn't work, you don't say like, oh, I'm never gonna use medicine again. You call the doctor and say, hey, this one's not working. And they're gonna say, okay, the medicine didn't work well on my body, so I need to go back to the, oh, the, the sorry. We have, um, I started like going on my own script. <laughs> Um, let me just back up. Okay. So we don't think to ourselves, oh, that medicine didn't work. I'm never going to try medicine again because it's all useless. What you think is that medicine didn't work well on my body. And so I need to go back to the doctor and ask him for something different. We have been programmed this way. We, we understand that medications affect people differently. Essential oils are similar in the fact that each oil is not going to have the exact same effect on every single person. So if you use an oil and don't get the same results you're looking for, that's okay. We can try something else. If you're patient enough with essential oils, like you are medications, you will find something that is safer, cheaper, and more effective for you. So we're setting the expectation that they may not have a great, they may not have the result that they are hoping for, right? So it's good. And this is legit. We're all bio individuals. You guys have heard me say that. Um, for me, had it, when I have a headache, 
using frankincense and copaiba works so much better than using past tense and peppermint. For some reason, those exaggerate my headache. And so those are just different ways that, you know, like we, we have to, they have to know that just because they tried one thing and maybe they didn't even try it properly, um, that it's done. So we actually, in this process, if they don't have a great experience, it's good because it allows us to have another touch. So tell them how to use it and what to look for. Here's what we're going to do. When you're going to bed tonight, rub a few drops of serenity onto your temples. Also, graze your pillow with your fingers as you lay down and take a slow, deep breath and you'll feel wonderful and calm. You'll feel a wonderful and calm come all over you. You should feel more relaxed and you should sleep better. But remember, if you don't get the results that you're hoping for, we can try something else. I'll call you in two days. Again, you're setting that expectation to see how it goes around. Um, I'm sorry. So you're setting that expectation around how it goes and that you're going to call them um, and then ask them when the best time to call is. So also make sure you guys are giving them the essential oil quick guides or the A to Z guides. I have a couple right here. I have a little case that I just made. And this is something I'm just going to carry in my purse. I have um, lavender, adaptive, tea tree oil. I have frankincense, just a couple because those are pretty expensive um, oils. So I don't, I definitely think as we're in the sampling phase, it's going to be more effective and better to sample the cheaper oils. And we want people to understand that too. Like, oh yeah, you can buy a lavender for way inexpensive and it's going to do, you know, it's going to have some similar effects. So I have frankincense in here because I actually use it a lot. Um, Deep Blue, Digestin, On Guard, um, and you can kind of, and breathe of course, and peppermint. So this is what I have. I have my little A to Z guides. So you're always going to give the A to Z guide out with them. And I would just quickly open it up and just show them like, oh, you can look up, like if you have brain fog, brain fog you can look it up and it's going to tell you the oils to use. And again, you're showing them that um, peppermint's at the top of this. And so we're going to start with peppermint for brain fog, um, but motivate or in tune might work better depending on your body chemistry. So again, we're teaching them that like essential oils work differently for everybody's body. Okay. so. Now the two day follow up call. It is important you guys that you do follow up within two days. If you're not following up with two days, you're actually leaving way too large of a window open and um, it's just, it's not ideal. So make sure you give them a call. It must be a call, not an email or a text that has not been proven to be effective in any way. So pick up the phone. I know it's awkward and it doesn't feel good. And so many people have such an issue with it. Um, but it is most effective to just pick up the phone and have a quick conversation. It can be five minutes. You guys um, don't spend, you know, hours catching up. It's you're calling about that specific thing. Hi, have you had the opportunity to use this, um, to use the oil, to, to use peppermint yet? And if it's yes, then um, I'm going to read you the script. Hey, hold on. Matt, I have coffee. You got a what? Okay, we bring coffee and cream home. <laughs> the important things in life. I had no coffee today. <gasps> okay, so. So when they've had a great experience, this is when we say, awesome. And we move into effective of inviting. So I'm not going to go right into the inviting, but if they have had a great experience, that's like such a win, right? Yes. Okay. They've had a, a great experience. So they have the trust. They, they're excited. Um, they're excited to probably try more oils. Okay. If it's a no, this is also exciting because it just gives us another opportunity to make another touch. That's okay. So here's what we're going to do. When you say that, here's what we're going to do. That is saying, I'm going to hold your hand. We are going to figure this out together. I am not just going to ditch you and say, ah, whatever, you don't get it. You're going to hold their hand. You are going to stand with them and walk through and problem solve with them what they are looking for. Okay. When you get home tonight start and you start getting ready for bed, repeat the usage instructions that we just talked about. 
<clears throat> I think you're going to have a good experience, but if you, do, if you didn't get the result you're looking for, don't worry, I can bring you another oil. And if you're as patient with essential oils as you are with medication, we'll find something that is safer, more effective, safer, cheaper, and more effective. Um, and I'll give you a call in the morning to see how it goes. So then you're going to bring over that other oil, right? And then you're going to tell them how to do it. So, you know, if peppermint didn't work, you're going to grab the, what was it? The Intune and give them a bottle of Intune to try. And you can buy a little, if you want to sample some of the touch rollers, you can buy little rollers, um, roller tops that fit on the little drams are super cute. But I actually don't usually do that um, unless it's something very, very specific where they need to be rolling it. Okay. Then moving on, if they didn't use it the first time, this is what the next morning follow-up is going to be. Okay. Hi, have you had the opportunity to use the peppermint yet? And then if they say, um, no, that's okay. Here's what we're going to do. Go get the sample right now. So you're going to walk them through it. You're going to just help them. It's like, let's just do this. We're going to sample it right now. You know, we're, we're always competing against so many distractions. And that is something that we have to realize. Um, a lot of people will be so butthurt that someone doesn't use their oil that the sample because they like, they just didn't think about it. And maybe like, maybe the ailment isn't like pressing enough. Like maybe it's not bugging them that much enough to like be in this heightened need of like, I need this right now. But again, like we are, we are definitely competing against so many distractions, so many distractions, even with medicine and obviously time and all the things. So tell them that's okay. Here's what we're going to do. Go get the sample right now. We'll have a little oil experience as we talk together. So then give them instructions on how to use the oil and give them a few minutes to feel the effects. Cause we know that essential oils work instantly. So just give them that moment to like feel that. Okay. So when they have used their sample, you ask them, how was their, how was your experience? If anything less than awesome, do not react and sound surprised. Simply listen to their experience. It's really easy to say, oh, well, it worked for me. Don't say that. Just listen. Um, listen to what they're saying. Um, restate what they have experienced. Tell them back, right? So here's what you're going to do. If you're, if you'll continue to be patient with the process, I'll, I'll keep trying to find an oil that will work for you. And you can, you know, mention another oil, um, and say, you know, um, the Intune is another one that I think that you'll have a better result from. I'm going to get you a sample of that and we'll see if that's, if that's the best oil to address your specific health need. Um, and when you've, and just make sure you list that too. If you don't have a great memory, just make sure you take notes on this kind of stuff. It's really important that you really point out and you tell people back what they are saying to you. So um, that, that way they're being heard and people really like that. So, and when you found the right oil and you've had something safe, um, and when you found the right oil, then you'll have something safer, more effective, and more affordable to address your specific health need. And then deliver the new samples and restart the sampling process. So. Um, this is great, you guys, you can go back. And I actually haven't had to problem solve too much since I've been sampling. I have had just a lot of like yeses and great experiences. And I think that probably is because I've, you know, really built trust with people beforehand. So my sampling process is going quicker than I've, and I'm sure I'm gonna have some hangups, but um, I've just had great experiences. So if they've had an awesome experience, then we're gonna move on to infective, effective inviting. And I'm really, I love this part. So this is going to be the last part of our training today. Okay. So a few things in my notes that I wanted just to point out is don't invite if they have not had an effective experience we have to slow the process down. And I know I said this earlier, but it's really important that we, they have to have, they have to have a good experience. So if you're feeling a little, if you're working out at a little desperate mode, cause you have a class coming up and you're wanting people to have a good experience beforehand, um, I would say a, you need to be a little bit more prepared moving forward and B, um, you might just, you might need to um, contact them and work through the sampling process a little bit quicker. So if you have a class on Thursday and it's Tuesday and they haven't had a good experience, I would maybe even just 
you know, call them or even go over to their house if they're local and really work with them on this. Um, another thing that has come up that I should mention is if you're sending samples to someone that isn't in your local area, it is okay to send, um, you know, a few, a few oils. Um, it gets expensive with, um, shipping and whatnot. So if you're sampling, sampling someone for something specific, maybe you just, um, ask them a few or set, you know, explain to them that you're going to send them a few oils and see what works best for them. So I think that that is okay. Okay. Um, and then here we go. So, and you guys can see again up here, listen to daily mentor call 10, 11 and 12. So we're moving up, we're moving on with the calls really quickly. And okay. So when they've had a great experience with the oils and you invite them to the class, how do you effectively invite? Um, so if you think, let's say peppermint is awesome, that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's incredible how many things you can solve with essential oils. And then you can share another story, a different story. Here's what we're going to do. There is an amazing intro to oils class on this specific date. And I think that you and I think what I think <laughs> what you will learn could change your life. I would love for you to come. Which of um, these times works for you? So you always have to have a couple of dates on your calendar. Um, and I think it's important to give people a choice. And obviously people are busy. And again, you're competing with the busyness of life and distractions. So make sure you set a date and time and let them know you'll give them a call um, for more options on two days before the class. So they say, yeah, I'll come to the Thursday class. You're like, great. I'm going to call you two days before. And, um, and then we'll go more into that. But also I think what is really cool is and what I've been seeing is when I'm sampling people, they're actually, and they're ready to buy. This is when I have a one-on-one class with them. Um, I am, I have seen that to be really like, people are like, okay, I want to buy. So I'll get on the phone with them and teach them a one-on-one class, or I'll jump on zoom, or I'll go and meet them for coffee and do a one-on-one class. It's a 30 minute. It's quick. So they already have They've seen the oils work. They've had that experience. They have trust. They're ready to buy. And now you're just going to teach them a little bit more on, you know, the, and you're, you're going to tell them all the, like the, the nuggets of why essential oils work and whatnot. So, um, let's see. Okay. So we're going to go to the two day phone. So you've invited them to the class, right? You have a date or a specific time that you're going to meet them two days before always do the two day phone call reminder and the two hour text reminder. These are life changing <laughs> to getting butts and seats. So they will dramatically increase your attendance rate. And a lot of people don't come to classes when they say, because stuff comes up. So something we need to get into like uh, the groove of is like really just not giving people an out. So when you call them two days before the appointment and give them some more info about the class, you can give them just like, Hey, you know, we're going to be, I'm really excited to talk to you about, you know, three cool things about the essential oils and, um, don't ask them if they're still planning on coming. Just assume that they are and say, hi, I'm excited to see you. And the class is Thursday. Um, we'll be talking more about essential oils and anxiety, right? You, you touch on their pain point. I think it will, be, it will really help your daughter. There will be plenty of parking on this street so you can find the closest spot. So like it can be something completely Ill, irrelevant to what you're going to be teaching in the class, but just like you're just touching base with them, right? Um, text them then two hours before the appointment um, before your appointment with them or before the class. Um, and this must be a text. So I'm excited to see you tonight. I have a surprise for you or can't wait to, can't wait to, can't wait for you to come today. I've got a gift for you. Maybe that sounds better to you or more um, true to your energy. Um, if they text you back, what, what the, and ask what the surprise is, simply respond with come and you'll find out and see what the surprise is. Um, you, don't have to have some grand gift for them. It could be a sample of wild orange. It could be, um, it could be, it could be really anything. You, 
I mean, I think samples are great because then people are using the oils and they're having experience with the oil that they may have not had. So I would do a little bag and I would put a whole bunch of little samples in there and they get to choose out of the bag because they showed up, right? So they grabbed their little sample. They're super excited. So she did this in Prague with us. If we were listening, she would ask us, she'd go back and say, okay, so what are you going to do um, two days before? And everyone would raise their hand. I mean, you're, I'm in a room with like the top leaders of doTERRA and people, you're going to call them two days before. Yeah, come up, grab it. She grabs her bag out, pulls, uh, you know, an immortel out. Like, like she just had a whole bunch of bags. She had actually had most of the bag was filled with oregano, which was hilarious because like five people in a row got oregano. I pulled out an, an immortal. I was like, yes, but okay, you guys, I have five immortals in my office, but I was still so excited. Like, yeah, I'm going to pull something out of the bag. So people, it doesn't matter. People love free things. So it could be a tiny sample or it could be a big one, but don't overdo it. Do a little bag of samples and people will get excited about that. So here's a really great breakdown as I'm showing you guys this. Um, effective sampling gives us, gives a prospect the experience they need to justify enrolling and using doTERRA in their life. So that's the whole point of this. We've built the trust. They, they now feel like I can, I, can, I can purchase my oils. You aren't going to have to um, fuss with the excuses of, I have to go home and ask my partner or my spouse, like how much money I can spend. They know you're coming to this. Um, uh, but rather than like, we're, we're moving into helping them decide what they want. So they came to a class now, they've learned all these other things about essential oils. They've heard all these incredible testimonies and, um, now they, now they get to decide what they want. So, um, I'm just reading my notes. So it just says up here, um, preference each sample with, and I've said this a million times today, trying natural products is similar to trying traditional remedies. If something doesn't work, you don't decide to stay stuck. You try something else until you find what works. And when you found what works for you, we'll have found a safer, cheap, natural, how did she say this? We'll have found a safer, natural, cost-effective way to help with your specific ailment. So here's a breakdown, invite, deliver, two day follow up, right? These are just the samples. So, and in your book, just might be something that you guys like highlight all of this. It's like really broken down simply for you. Um, and then these are just the different steps that you can take in really problem solving with them, um, what's going on. So, if they say yes, if they've tried it, it was great, you're gonna invite them to a call. If it was not great, tell me about it, we're gonna problem solve with another oil. If it was great, have them go back. If they didn't try it, here, we're gonna try it right now, right? So just get really used to this. Um, read through this again. Um, and next week, we're gonna start diving into intro to oil class. But I do want to um, touch on one more thing. And if your class, if you're having a hard time getting people to classes and you are sampling and you're doing these steps properly, it could just be that the class itself isn't fun. So make sure that you're making your class fun. Put music on and make it inviting um, and follow her steps. I think it's really important to follow her simple steps of beeping, which we're going to get into next week more. But this class, we need to be, again, not just um, creating an experience for just the oils. We need to be setting this expectation and building this expectation for the class. And she talks about this um, and she gives the analogy of a Super Bowl ticket. Your, make your class better than Super Bowl tickets. And you might ask me, like, what do you mean by that? Well, most people would love to go to super, the Super Bowl, right? And to get free tickets to the Super Super Bowl, like they're thousands of dollars each ticket, what I remember. And um, I'm not a football fan, but a lot of people are. So someone would die to have free Super Bowl tickets, especially fans, right? So we need to be setting the precedence for our classes. And I think my... Um, something that I want to ask you guys. Do you really believe that the oils will change generations? Because if so, 
then that's going to be better than Super Bowl tickets, right? During this part of our training, we talked this through for a long time. And we talked about the power of oils. And again, we talked about our experiences with the oils and how they've changed our lives. And we talked about um, the reality of what we're giving to people. And you guys, you've got to get in tune with that. If that has, if you've lost that, you got to go back. You got to listen to people's testimonies. Um, we live in such a sick world and there are so many people that are desperate to find answers and solutions to their health problems. And if we don't give people these oils, we can't impact a generation in the way that we could if we are giving them these incredible healing oils. So make your classes fun and inviting, but also know what you're doing. Like what we are doing and sharing oils is changing people's lives, not just their health and their wellness, but like financially as well. The opportunity that we have with doTERRA to build this business is phenomenal. And we talked about, you know, a lot of frustrations over there and we, one thing that kept coming back was where could you, where could you make this kind of money doing what you do and having the time freedom that you have? And it's pretty much nowhere. So really like go back to that, that, you know, our classes are better than free Super Bowl tickets. We're, we're impacting generations and we're helping people heal and that's giving people life. And so really connect with that um, in such a deep way. and and, and value your classes because they are so valuable and know that they are changing lives. So, um, okay. So the homework for this week, thank you for being on live. The couple of you who are, um, I am offering anybody who's on live for the next four weeks, hundred dollars in doTERRA product that I will send to you from myself. Um, because I feel like being on live is so, so important. I know this was a funky week for a handful of you guys, but, um, and if you're catching the replay, um, that was my deal is that you guys, if you do your homework and you do the things, cause you guys, this program, like I, I'm, I'm giving this to you and taking my time out of my week to do this with you because it has, it's changed my business already. And I want to give you the tools to be able to change yours. So please know like the homework is like do the things cause it's going to move your business forward. So this week is write your names list. You're going to rank your late, your names list. You're going to create a plan. So you're going through those daily mentor calls. If you have not listened to the daily mentor calls one through 15, go through those. You should be able to get through them pretty quickly. Do the things. Um, and then next week, um, depending on engagement and how it works, I think it would be really fun to do a little bit of role playing and just get a little bit more used to doing that. So, um, I hope this has been helpful, you guys, and I would love feedback if you are watching this, if it's helpful, um, if you want to go back and revisit things, we can do that, um, after the training and whatnot, but I would love to, I would love your feedback and, I, and um, I hope that this has just been really helpful. So I'll see you guys all next week on Saturday at 8 a.m.